Right, let us do protein synthesis in just a few minutes, right? First of all, what do you need to know? The most important key terminologies are the following. You need to know what amino acids are. Amino acids are basically the building blocks of proteins. This is from your grade 10 knowledge or grade 10 content, right? And you need to know what base triplets are. What are base triplets? Base triplets basically are three nitrogenous bases, one after the other. A sequence of three nitrogenous bases, one after the other, where on DNA. For example, CCC or GCT. So that is a base triplet. The other words that you must know, if you don't have a base triplet, we're going to have a codon. These are nitrogenous, a sequence of nitrogenous bases, one after the other, on an mRNA. For example, you have U instead of T, um, as, we, as we know it, and then CG. That is an example of a codon. Similarly, on a tRNA, we also have three nitrogenous bases, one after the other, on a tRNA that form a complementary strain or a complete that complement the codon on the mRNA. Basically, for example, you would have an anticodon that contains A U G to give an example, right? So these are the ways that you must know. Other other parts include or other terminologies include the following: your transcription and translation these two are process are two processing in protein synthesis right that is transcription and translation transcription the first stage of protein synthesis where mrna is formed in the nucleus and then it exits through the nuclear pores onto the cytoplasm and then translation is the second stage of protein synthesis where amino acids basically form peptide bonds the bonds between amino acids, remember, is called a peptide bonds to form a protein. So, let's get down to it. We're going to have an overview of it very, very quickly. Right, let's start. Say, for example, now, you are, these are a couple of cells. We ha we're having a couple of cells. Now, trans uh, protein synthesis needs to take place. Where do we start? Remember that protein synthesis is divided into two uh, phases or two parts. Transcription, which takes place inside the nucleus of the cell, and then translation that takes place outside the nucleus of the, of the cell, where particularly in the ribosome. So, let's go to the first part of protein synthesis, which is transcription, right? So, we already mentioned that transcription takes place inside the nucleus of the cell. Then we're going to have base triplets lined one after the other. So what's going to happen? In the first phase, your DNA, your DNA first unwinds and then weak hydrogen bonds are broken and then it unzips just like it did right now. So what happens after that? Only a section, not the whole DNA un un uh, unwinds or unzips, only a section of it. And one of the two strands gets to be used as a template Strand, right? Good. Let's go on. Now, what's going to happen? Free nucleotides, né? free RNA nucleotides inside the nucleus are going to build an mRNA strand. So the mRNA strand is going to be built from basically what? Basically these free RNA nucleotides, one after the other, and they are going to bond. Né? Mm -hmm. Just like this. Uh-huh. There. Just like that. And remember, please remember that A is basically usually binds with, with what? With T. But in this case, because we are making an mRNA, an RNA does not contain thymine. It will contain uracil in the place of thymine. So we're going to continue now transcribing, transcribing, transcription. After we are done with this transcription, guess what happens? This strand, this mRNA strand, which carries the code for a particular uh, protein, now is complete, together with its codons. A sequence of three nitrogenous bases on an mRNA is your codons. That, that was made what from? Base triplets. One, two, three. Right? Now, transcription is almost done. Okay? 
what happens after transcription? This mRNA will basically detach from this d DNA and then move out of the nucleus into what? Into, into, the, into the cytoplasm. Remember from the nucleoplasm through the nuclear pores into the cytoplasm. Where? In the cytoplasm, it's going to go to the ribosome. This organelle called the ribosome, responsible for protein synthesis. Now, it is crucial to remember that now in this stage, this is the last stage of your protein synthesis. And this is what we call transcription. So, what's going to happen during, no, not transcription, translation, sorry. What's going to happen during translation is that the transfer RNA, your tRNA in the cytoplasm has three adjacent nitrogenous bases known as the anticodon. mRNAs or mRNA, the mRNAs codons will be complementary to the tRNAs anticodon. That's the tRNAs anticodon. Each tRNA will carry a specific amino acid such as your alanine, arginine, so forth and so forth. According to the codons on the mRNA. The tRNA will bring the required or the specific amino acid to the ribosome, similar to this one over here. The amino acids are linked by a peptide bond. Let's translate and see. Now here comes another one. Then they form a peptide bond and then that tRNA leaves. Its job is done. And then another amino, uh, uh, tRNA comes carrying an amino acid which forms a peptide bond. This will continue to happen. Peptide bond is formed. This one leaves. Another one brings a specific amino acid due to the anticodon. And then peptide bond is formed. It leaves. This process continues. Né? This process will continue over and over and over again up until we have our desired protein. Remember, all these amino acids forming peptide bonds will soon now bond together to form a, a protein. So that is essentially what we call protein synthesis. Right? And after protein synthesis happens, what happens? The ribosome detaches from the mRNA and then the protein gets to uh, have its function. That is a summary of what protein synthesis is.